Hi and welcome, my name is Jason Turley and today we'll be playing the Bandit War Games from Over the Wire. It's a set of challenges and levels focused on improving your Linux command line skills. You can see on the left side here that there's 34 plus levels and we're going to get started with level 0. If you want you can read up here, uh, it's just an intro to the game, but it's stuff we're going to be going over naturally. So level 0, click there. The goal of this level is for you to log into the game using SSH. The host to which you need to connect is bandit.labs.overthewire.org on this port 2220. The username and password are both bandit0. Once you log in, go to the level 1 page to find out how to beat it. So I'm running Linux, a uh, Ubuntu virtual machine, but if you're on Mac, you can just type in SSH, no problem. But for the Windows users, you need to use something called PuTTY. Because Windows doesn't have a native SSH client. So you can just go here, download Windows, uh, <laughs> download PuTTY for your current version of Windows and get started there. Because you need to log in to the over the wire bandit server. Just gonna grab this host name, copy it right click paste it in specify the username bandit zero at sign and then we need the port two 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 zero enter the password bandit zero log in you can see we get this nice banner and a long prompt on just how to play the game the users, the directories, things you shouldn't do, and then some tools that might be helpful in later war games, but none of these are really necessary for the bandit war game that we're playing. As you can see, my prompt has changed. I'm no longer Jason, I'm the bandit zero user, and my host name is no longer Ubuntu, but it's bandit. So you can that's how you can tell we're on the remote server. So I'm gonna type ls to list out what's in this folder in this directory and I see readme so Linux is a bit different if you're used to Windows there's no extension there's no file extension so there's no .txt there's no .exe there's no .jpg it's just the file so I don't know what this is I don't know how to interact with it to find out I can just say file and then the name of the file read me and it tells me that this is an ascii text file now ascii text just means it's a bunch of ones zeros it's alphanumeric so it has letters and it has numbers it's something i can read it's not a binary that i need some type of interpreter to run for example so if i want to print it out i can just say cat short for concatenate read me and i get the password copy Go exit in my little folder. I'm gonna just vim creds.txt. Vim is just a text editor. Bandit zero, just to keep track. Their password is also bandit zero. Bandit one, their password is this. We got some weird stuff going on. There's their password. Save and quit, WQ, clear the screen. All right, so that was level zero. Let's go to the next one. The password for the next level is stored in a file called hyphen, located in the home directory. Some helpful reading material. I'm gonna hit up on my arrow key, and that's gonna cycle through the command history. So I can just go back to bandit zero, plop that out with bandit one, Copy and paste their username and password in. Clear the screen. LS to list the file, and I get just a hyphen. Just like before, I can cat hyphen. Huh. Nothing happens. Whatever I type into the prompt just gets echoed right back to me. Let's figure out why. Man cat to bring up the man page, the manual, the documentation, 
cat concatenate files and print to the standard output. So standard output just means this current screen. So cat, some options of the file name with no file, or when file is the hyphen, read standard input. So that's what's going on here. So the hyphen, it's saying whatever I type in, just print it right back out to me. Not very helpful in this case. So how can we solve this? I can once again say cat and then period for the current directory and slash and then the name of the file hyphen and it'll print out the password. Another way I could say cat left arrow hyphen and we get it. Copy it, exit out, clear the screen, open up that credential file that I'm using to keep track of the passwords. Let's move on to the next level, level three. The password for the next level is stored in a file called spaces in this file name located in the home directory. Go back, smash the up arrow until I get here. I'm no longer bandit one, I wanna be bandit two. And then paste in the password. Clear the screen, ls spaces in this file name okay just like before cat it out just copy and paste this because i'm lazy copy paste huh i get a bunch of errors spaces notice file directory in notice file directory and so on so what's going on here the issue is that this is one file right one file but there's spaces in it. So the cat command treats each one of these as a separate file. And it's saying, hey, spaces? I don't see any file named spaces here. So that's why it says no such file directory. Same for in this and file name. So to fix this, I can just wrap it in quotation marks. And that tells cat, hey, anything in this quotation, treat it as one file. So hit enter and I get the password. Alternatively, I can say cat spaces and then just hit the tab button to autocomplete and it adds these backslashes for me. Enter and it prints out the password. Copy, exit, clear the screen, open up our little cred file, bandit three, screwed that up. <laughs> oh, Vim. What are you doing to me? Oh, I had caps lock on, that's why. Bandit, three, paste. Close out of there. Let's do one more. The password for the next level is stored in a hidden file in the in here directory. So we go back, we smash the up arrow, to go into our command history, replace two with three, and then we paste in our password. Clear the screen to give ourselves some more real estate, ls to list the current folder. We see something called in here. Notice that it's blue. Before the files were white, so this must mean it's a directory. I can confirm my suspicion with file command in here. And it tells us it's a directory, a directory, a folder, whatever you want to call it. So I can use CD, change directory, and then the name in here. And it's going to go into this directory. LS again. And I get nothing. Huh. Well, it says a hidden file. How do I display hidden files? Let's see. Man LS to bring up the manual list directory contents tack a or tack tack all do not ignore entries starting with period or dot let's try that ls tack a you can see i get three results back one dot two dots and then dot hidden the first dot just means the current directory and we saw that before when we did the cat 
dot slash hyphen. That just means literally the directory that I'm in. The two dots just means the parent directory are the one immediately before me. So if I do ls dot dot, guess what I'm going to see? Well, the same thing I saw up here, right? Because this is the parent directory. This is the beginning. This is the root, the home folder. So now I can do cat dot hidden because by default Linux hides everything with a dot from ls it's a programming bug copy exit out clear the screen with control L open up my little cred file bandit 4's password is this save and quit Okay, I think we'll call it there for today. We solved the first four levels from Over the Wire Bandit. Let me know if you solve them any other way in the comments below. Thank you.